and welcome to another episode of Climate Farmers of Sonoma County. We're excited to bring you this video series that talks about our partnership of our local grape growers with the California Land Stewardship Institute on the first ever climate adaptation certification. So what does all that big language mean? It actually means our local growers are working to do their part to lower their greenhouse gas emissions or sequester carbon. And today, we're on this beautiful 515-acre ranch in the heart of Alexander Valley, Sequerchi Vineyards, or as I like to refer to it, just because it's a little easier, SQ Vineyards. So here, the theme is natural habitat and vineyards. Why natural habitat? Because less than 15%, only 70 acres, are planted to vineyards, leaving the other 86% in oak woodland, mixed conifer forest, and interspersed with grassland, all of those things create a really fantastic habitat naturally for our wildlife and also sequester carbon. These are some great practices that our local grape growers are doing to help be part of the climate solution. So I hope you join us in listening and hearing from our experts today about all the great things happening here at SQ Vineyards. Farming to lower atmospheric carbon is difficult for two reasons. First, some of the most impactful decisions happen up front in the design and the planting of a vineyard block. But also during the productive life of the block, there are many trade-offs that have to be made, which increase the cost of the product. And the beautiful thing about the Climate Adaptation Certification Program is that in the process of certification, the vineyard operator and owner becomes educated on what those trade-offs are. At Sequestia Vineyards, we use 100% tillage, 50% tillage, and no tillage. The benefits of no tillage for the soil are increased biodiversity, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, as well as carbon sequestration. So here at Sequestia Vineyards, we have hedgerows along the borders. Those hedgerows consist of small, medium, and large native plants that once established, they will no longer need irrigation. So they're adapted to the climate in this area. So the hedgerows create biodiversity by increasing diversity of insect populations. Also with carbon sequestration, you have those permanent woody structures in those hedgerows to sequester carbon. By having natural areas surrounding the vineyards creates biodiversity, whether it's through birds, insects, also with the cover crops, really we improve the, the biodiversity of the nematodes in the soil as well. When we start to do a plan on a property like this, we of course look at the vineyards. We work with the vineyard manager and we look at the different kinds of practices they're using. This could be things like tillage, cover crops, no-till, how much irrigation water they apply, how they put fertilizer on the crop. All of those different practices and the timing of them will determine how much greenhouse gas emissions they have and how much carbon they're sequestering. We put all that information into a very complicated model called Comet Farm, and it will calculate out the different amounts. We also look at the overall property. This is a kind of unique site in that it has 70 acres of vineyard on over 500 acres of land. And when we do that, we have to look at the different kinds of trees. Trees and different kinds of plants are very good at taking CO2 out of the atmosphere and through photosynthesis, turning it into biomass. So they're sequestering carbon. We can model how much carbon is getting sequestered in the trees by knowing the species and the age, and then we put that in the model and it'll tell us. Part of the state of California's climate program is to have conservation lands make up 30% of the total state by the year of 2030. And Sequoia Vineyards is one of those places that's contributing to that goal. I love being out here on the SQ Vineyard and it was so great to hear from Hal, Laurel, and Tyler about how they're all doing their part to be part of the climate solution but we invite you to do your part at home. Today, let's focus on a quick tip on composting. Did you know that almost half your garbage is actually most likely compostable, food waste or garden waste? So separate that out and just put it right back into your soil or garden. In fact, if you're a coffee drinker, you can even use your coffee grounds and pour them right on top of your soil. That way you can join us at home and being part of Sonoma County's climate movement. <laughs>